I want to give you guys a quick update. So we were able to finalize the design on the tank and transfer it over into sheet metal, uh, form it up, and actually make a tangible tank for our prototype. Uh, pretty exciting because this has really been about three years in the making for us of the overall design and the manufacturing process. So as the deadline of the Phoenix 250 approached for the prototype to be finished, Richard and I knew that we had to hash out some of the design um, disagreements we had in the tank and the seat. We spent a lot of time, some of it arguing, but there was also a lot of triumph when we figured out what it is that we could come together on to make the tank that we saw perfect. It was very important for us to incorporate knee slots in it, functional knee slots that has some depth, has some forward motion to them. So, you know, it was one of those tanks that looked like it was moving, even though it was standing still. It looked like it wanted to be on a race bike and, and be raced. That was a great hurdle uh, for us in the design factor uh, because of the way we do manufacturing. It's simple and sometimes simplicity gets in the way. Uh, since we don't have big stamps, we don't have big forms, we don't have that stuff that really can hinder but your design, but it also can really enhance it because it pushes you in ways that are just not traditional and sometimes simplicity can be the hardest route.